in any business venture, keeping track of every single dollar that goes in and out of your business is extremely important. So if you're a reseller and you haven't been doing this already, then you have to start right now. Because not only would you be able to keep track of the profit that your business brings in, but proper tracking of all of your expenses can help lower your tax bill. For example, cook group fees, bot purchases, proxies, all of these are tax deductible because they are legitimate expenses that are needed to carry out your botting operations. Every single expense, every single purchase, and every single stream of income needs to be recorded. Most people use a spreadsheet to manage their transactions. I would recommend Google Sheets for something like this. Here is an example of how I would personally organize it, but you can set it up however you want. But here is the important part. You want to keep your inventory separate from all of your other transactions. Because when it comes to taxes, inventory is treated differently from a regular expense. So it's important to keep them separate. Apart from that, you can set it up however you want. Just make sure you're organized and staying up to date with your spreadsheet. If you don't know how to use formulas in a spreadsheet, I'll quickly go over some of the most important ones. For a simple addition and subtraction of different cells, put an equal sign where you want your answer to show up. In my case, I want it under the profit column because I want to calculate the profit on my sneakers. Then I click on how much I sold it for, minus how much I bought it for, minus how much I paid for the shipping or any other fees to get it to the customer. Then I press enter and there you have your answer. Now to apply that same formula to all the other cells in the same column, hover over the bottom right of the cell until you see a cross. Then click and hold, and drag it down, and it will automatically apply that same formula in the highlighted field. So when you populate these empty values with numbers, it will automatically calculate your profit. Now what if you want to get the total profit? Click on the cell where you want your answer to show up, type SUM with the open parentheses, then highlight the cells that you want to add up, then press enter. And there you have it. This is how I used to keep track of everything. But as of late 2020, I've switched over to Scout, which is a sponsor for today's video, but I do use it for my personal inventory management system. Before you click out of the video, it's important for you to know that Scout is free, unless you decide to upgrade to a paid plan. With their free plan, you get access to inventory management and analytics, so you can use this for your inventory, and then all of your other expenses would have to be tracked with a traditional spreadsheet. But with a paid plan, you'd be able to have the transactions of your entire reselling operation all tracked in Scout. Now, I don't want to pressure you to feel like you have to pay for this application. I want you to do what's best for you and what you feel is necessary for your business. If you're just starting out and your reselling operations are small, then you can just stick with a free plan. But if you're noticing more and more shoes coming in and out of your door, then one of the paid plans might be more suitable. Why? Well, it makes inventory tracking, expense logging, and generating reports nearly effortless. For example, on the professional plan, as you get email confirmations for your checkouts, it will automatically log that checkout with the exact amount that you paid for it into your Scout account. If it gets cancelled, it can detect that too and it will remove it from your account. Therefore, some resellers are able to fully automate the entire process of adding inventory using Scout. This is certainly much faster than logging it one by one, which can take hours to do on the traditional spreadsheet, especially if you buy and sell a lot of shoes. With a professional account, you'd also be able to list your items directly from Scout to Go, and once the sale has been made, it will automatically track that as well. These two features alone can save you hours of time and stress. This is time you can use relaxing, working on your business, or maybe even working your day job. Speaking of day job, minimum wage in New York City is $15 an hour. So if your time is worth $15 an hour, and Scout can help you save several hours for only $16 a month, then this is definitely for you. To get started, go to the link in the description. Create a new account by entering an email and password, and then you are met with this page. If you've already been reselling, then chances are is that you've already tracked your expenses and inventory using a spreadsheet. Scout makes it super easy to transition over to their inventory management solution with this onboarding process. It's as simple as dropping your spreadsheet here. Yep, it's that easy. You don't have to worry about how your spreadsheet is organized. Just drop it in the window and then within 24 hours, your Scout account will be populated with the contents of your spreadsheet. 
If you want to do it this way though, you do have to put in your credit card number to prevent spam because the onboarding process will involve a scout staff member that will double check that all of the information that goes from your spreadsheet to your account is accurate. Doing this will automatically put you on a 14 day free trial for a paid plan. So if you don't want to get charged, then be sure to revert to the free plan before the 14 days are up. Now, if you don't want to put in your credit card information, you can opt out of the service and just select the free plan. Now starting off with a free fresh account here, to add inventory, simply press inventory on the left and click on the add icon button and type in the name of the shoe that you want to add. Find it in the drop down and put in the sizes, how many of each and how much you paid for it. If you want, you can also add where you got it from. Furthermore, you can also add things such as order number, tags, notes, place of purchase, if you feel like you want to be a bit more organized with your inventory. Press save and that's it. Alternatively, you can use the barcode scanner feature on the Scout app. Scan the barcode on the shoebox and add items that way. It's pretty straightforward. The Scout mobile companion app is an excellent alternative in case you aren't in front of a computer. And it's just as easy to use. You can go back to the dashboard and get some analytics and insights about your inventory in a very intuitive way. Unrealized profit would be the amount of profit you would make if you sold all of your shoes at market price right now. Because when it comes to reselling sneakers, there's going to be a lot of times where you don't want to sell your inventory right away. But at the same time, you want to know if you've at least made a profit despite several operating costs to run your bots. Well, with Scout's dashboard, you'd be able to tell instantly without having to actually sell your shoes. Doing something like this would take much longer with a traditional spreadsheet because to do this, you would have to find out one by one the estimated resale prices of the sizes that you have. After you make a sale, right click on the item you sold. Or if you sold a bunch of items, you can click, hold shift, then select a chunk and you'd also be able to hold control on your keyboard and highlight them individually. If you have a lot of shoes here, you can also use the search bar for your convenience. So let's say we sold these. We'd highlight them, right click, mark as sold, how much I sold each shoe for. Let's say I sold these on Instagram, I paid $15 for the shipping, and I sold it today, and then press mark sold. Then it will show up in your sales tab. By the way, everything I've been talking about is on the free plan. You don't have to pay a dime to get access to the features that I've covered so far. So if you want to use Scout to track your inventory, you can, but it would only be your inventory. However, with a professional plan, you'd be able to track basically everything, expenses, subscriptions, etc. Along with features that can cut down the stress and hassle and save you hours of time on inventory management. So I'm gonna go over why a $16 a month investment might be the right move for you. Let's start off with one of the best time-saving features, the email hub. If you have a professional plan, a Scout email address will be generated for you. You can then set up the email that you regularly use for reselling to automatically forward the emails to your Scout email address. Your Scout email address would then be able to detect any order confirmations, cancellations, and shipping emails which will be automatically updated on your Scout account. So in theory, if all of your inventory is sourced by botting the main sneaker platforms, you won't ever have to manually input your shoes one by one again. Scout will do it all for you. Also, as I mentioned earlier, you can input and track your expenses and subscriptions as well with the pro plan, which will also be reflected on the dashboard so that you can see your actual profit with the extra expenses taken into consideration. By the way, if you want to see how easy it is to list on Goat with Scout, right click on the item that you want to list, place Goat listing, put in the price that you want to sell it for, then press list on Goat. After the sale has been completed, all you have to do is confirm the sale on your Goat app and it will automatically put that shoe into your sold items list after the sale has been processed. You can also list in bulk if you want to. Now to get this done, all you would have to do is head on over to integrations and connect your GOAT account to your Scout account. You only have to set this up once and then listing items on GOAT from Scout can be done as fast as a few seconds. Super intuitive and efficient process. Speaking of efficient though, you can easily send out links to your buyers that will have the items you're selling. This is the cop list feature. 
To get this done, let's say this batch of shoes are for sale, and I want to create a cop list for these. I would highlight the shoes, right click, then name the cop list. Maybe I'll name it shoes for sale. Then we would go down to cop list. Click share. As you can see, you can allow comments on your list. You can have the list display the market prices or not. And another neat thing is you can also allow buyers to offer on your items. And you can also set an asking price if you have an ideal price in mind. So go ahead and type in an email. If you don't have their email, you can put in your own email and then share the link with them. If you want to add an asking price, you can click on the link and then put that in. So when you send the link to your buyer, this is what it's going to look like on their end. Then they can type in their offers and they can comment if you have that enabled. And this can make selling shoes a lot easier. If you manage to strike a deal with them, let's say they bought all of it, you can mark the whole thing as sold, put in the price that they paid for all of them, and that's it. In conclusion, there's many ways that Scout can help your reselling operations become a lot more efficient and stress-free, especially if you're a reseller that has a lot of shoes going in and out of the door. If you're a very casual reseller and botter, you probably don't need to use this, but if you find yourself spending a lot of time on your inventory management, then Scout's professional plan is definitely something you should consider. Hope you found this video helpful. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.